matumaini yangu kwamba mupo salama siku ya alamisi tarehe 21 moja mwezi wa 12 mwaka 2023 mumeweza kurauka vema kabisa karibu ni wapashe yale ambaye yameweza kujiri katika taifa lako tukufu la Kenya mimi nafahamika kama Mr Eagle 8 Merry Christmas and a happy happy new a prosperous year 2024 karibu twende kazi wa Kenya hapa nchini wamekuwa wakilalamika kuhusiana na sheria mpya ambazo William Samoi Arapruto ameweza kuzileta sheria ambazo zimeweza kumkandamiza mkenya wa kawaida sheria ambazo zinafanya mkenya wa kawaida hata wengine wao kulala njaa sheria hizi mtazamaji wangu zinahusiana na what we call taxes taxes ambazo anazidi kuongeza hapa nchini kipindi cha kupitisha bajeti ya mwaka 2024 mwaka 2023 ya William Samoi Arapruto bajeti ya kwanza kabisa tuliweza kuona baadhi ya wabunge waliweza kususia baadhi ya wabunge wa Kenya kwanza waliweza kususia bajeti hii lakini William Samoi Arapruto akawapea honyo anataka kuona wale ambao watakataa kusign hii bajeti wabunge wakaenda mbele wakasign lakini sasa hivi wa Kenya wanalia wanalalamika up to an extent wameweza kumuita Zakayo the tax collector Zakayo shuka kutoka juu ya mkuyu uje chini angalau Mungu aweze kukuona ila bado hajaweza kulisikia hilo tuliweza kuona hata Raila Odinga aliweza kumuita Zakayo kwa sababu ya taxes ambazo anawawekea wa Kenya wa Kenya hawajaweza kulalamika peke yao hii story ya kuweza kuongezewa taxes hapa nchini imeweza kuenda mpaka rubaha za kimataifa William Samoei Ruto ameweza kuingia kwenye vitabu vya maraisi ambao wanawatesa wa Kenya ama wanawatesa wananchi wao. Sasa hivi vinye tunaongea mtazamaji wangu BBC News Africa kituo cha rubaha za kimataifa wameweza kuchora historia ya William Samoei Arap Ruto jinsi ambavyo anawatesa wa Kenya na new taxes nataka uweze kuona hapo hiyo picha tu jinsi ambavyo umeweza kuiweka nje alafu nikusomee kwa undani kile kitu ambacho umeweza kuandika kisha tujadili kwa undani kabisa jinsi ambavyo unaona BBC News Africa kituo cha rubaha za kimataifa kile ambacho kinaangaliwa na kila taifa dunia nzima kiliweza kuchapisha hivi William Samoei Arap Ruto the tax collector president sparking Kenyans anger unaniona mtazamaji wangu yani imefika mpaka penye bwana William Samoei Ruto ameweza kuingia kwenye uh, vituo vya kimataifa kuanikwa jinsi ambavyo anawatesa wa Kenya just imagine BBC yenye iko Marekani yani ya yeah, iko Marekani i think headquarters zao zinapatikana Marekani story imeweza kufika kule sasa hivi dunia nzima inajua yale mateso ambayo William Samoei Arap Ruto anawapea wa Kenya kipindi ambapo kazi yake ni kuchampion climate change katika rubaha zingine za kimataifa lakini hapa nchini mambo sio mazuri tafadhali niruhusu nikusome kiduchu tu kile ambacho uh, taifa ama BBC wameweza kuchapisha Some Kenyans are mocking referring at President William Samoei Ruto as Zakayo Swahili for the biblical figure Zacchaeus who is portrayed in the Christian holy book as a greedy tax collector underline there as a greedy tax collector who climbed a tree to see Jesus nasikia maneno ambayo BBC inatumika yani mtu ambaye yuko na tamaa ya pesa yuko na tamaa ya ushuru na tunaelewa kwamba Zakayo katika kitabu kitakatifu cha Biblia aliweza kupanda mkuyu ili aweze kumuona Yesu lakini Yesu akamwambia Zakayo shuka chini ili tuweze kulonga mawili matatu William Ruto amekataa kushuka This is because Mr Ruto has introduced a raft of new taxes and raised the old ones since he was elected uh, the president in August 2022 Correction 
William Samoei Ruto was not elected was picked by uh, Chebukati making him unpopular with many Kenyans who believe he has betrayed his campaign pledge to champion the interest of hustlers those who struggle financially Mr Ruto has acknowledged that the taxes are painful but in an independence day speech on 12 December which is known as Jamuri day said the sacrifices the nation was making will make our freedom fighters proud for him higher taxation is necessary to reduce government borrowing and bring down the national debt which has increased to around 10 trillion Kenyan shillings although Mr Ruto inherited much of his from previous government unajua mtazamaji wangu hapa kitu hichi cha BBC wameweza kumfichua William Samuel Ruto kuelekea rubaa za kimataifa kwamba tangia alipoweza kuingia mamlakani ameweza kuintroduce new taxes ambazo zinawafanya wa Kenya wa kawaida kulia ambazo zinawafanya wa Kenya kuweza yani kuishi, kuishi maisha ambayo si ya kawaida wengine wana struggle kabisa kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba wana, wana end angalau uh, na kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba angalau wanaleta chakula kwenye meza unaona wanatuambia kwamba tangia alipoweza kuingia mamlakani ameleta taxes mpya na aliweza kuwadanganya rubaa za kimataifa during jamhuri day kwamba zile taxes ambazo ameweza kuleta ndio ni kali lakini zitakuja ku make our freedom fighters happy zitakuja ku make akina Dedan Kimathi kivipi happy zitakuja ku make rais wa kwanza hapa nchini Jomo Kenyatta kivipi happy kipindi ambapo wa Kenya wanalia hivyo ndivyo aliweza kuwadanganya wa Kenya pamoja na rubaa za kimataifa kupitia kwa hotuba yake ambayo aliweza kuitoa kipindi cha Jamhuri Day. Na unajua kipindi cha kambini aliweza kuwadanganya kwamba na hata sio kambini peke yake. Anazidi kuwadanganya wa Kenya sasa hivi kwamba tutanataka tuta, tuta kuweza ku raise taxes ili tuweze kuepuka kukopa na tena tuweze kulipa yale madeni ambayo tuko nayo. Ila let me tell you Madeni anazidi kuongeza loans sijui kama analipa so yale maneno yote ambayo aliweza kuyasema kipindi cha kambini ni ukora unanielewa mtazamaji wangu they also they also says the taxes are only helping to fund extra agency in government rather than improve public service unaona mtazamaji wangu hichi ni kituo cha BBC kinasema kwamba wa Kenya umeweza kusema kwamba hizi taxes ambazo William Samoei Ruto ameweza kuleta mpya in the name it kwamba anataka kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba services huduma kwenye afisi za serikali zinakuwa rahisi zile taxes zinamalizia kuweza kuingia mifuko ya watu ambao ni viongozi wa kuserikalini. Yaani ishara kwamba zile pesa zinaibwa. This perception has grown especially after Kenyans controller of budget an independent office that oversees the use of public funds recently raised the concerns of the offer the high taxes amid wasteful spending. Mark there penye wameweza kusema wasteful spending including on domestic and international travel by government officials since then budget cuts have been announced and spending on foreign trips has been reduced ruto has made over 40 trips abroad in uh, in about a year has defended his uh, traveling say saying he was seeking foreign investment and job opportunities for Kenyans na kusomea kwa kiduchu in about the same time 70000 private sector jobs have been lost and amid drastic rise in operating cost and the closure of uh, some businesses according to the latest report by the federal uh, federations of Kenyans employers so kitu ambacho mtazamaji wangu hawa watu wanatuambia kwamba historia hii ni refu lakini nimeweza kuisoma nataka kufanyia kitu ambacho kinaitwa mktazari niweze kuifupisha kitu ambacho BBC wanatuambia kwamba wanamuexpose William Samoei Ruto kuelekea rubaa za kimataifa kwamba 
wa Kenya katika taifa la Kenya wanalalamika kuhusiana na taxes ambazo ameweza kuleta. Tangia taifa la Kenya lilipoweza kupata uhuru. Hakuna rais ambaye ameweza kuleta taxes ambazo zinawakandamiza wa Kenya pamoja na wananchi ambao wanaishi katika taifa la Kenya. Vile vile katika hili chapisho la BBC wameweza kutueleza kwamba wa Kenya aswa wa Kenya wameweza kupandwa na hasira aswa baada ya controller of budget bi Margaret Nyakango na Dani mnamjua kuweza ku expose jinsi ambavyo serikali hii inatumia pesa vibaya jinsi ambavyo serikali hii inatumia pesa visivyo fa mfano katika kusafiri katika taifa la Kenya unatumia ndege katika kusafiri katika rubaa za kimataifa wakaweza kutupea good example kama William Samoei Ruto ameweza kutembea 40 more than 40 trips kuelekea rubaa za kimataifa akiwadanganya wa Kenya kwamba anawatafutia ajira akiwadanganya Kenya kwamba ameenda kutafuta investment katika rubaa za kimataifa what are the repercussions what are the disadvantages of high taxation high taxes ambazo William Samui Arapuruta ameweza kuzileta disadvantage ya kwanza mtazamaji wangu kitu hichi cha BBC katika nakala ambayo niliweza kukusomea walituambia kwamba more than 70,000 Kenyans from private sectors have been uh, have been what uh, wameweza kufutwa kazi have been fired because of at uh, this what we call high taxes high cost of production kipindi ambapo mtazamaji wangu kampuni na make hasara maybe kama ni kampuni ya kuunda sukari ile production ambayo wanaunda kama ni kuunda sukari alafu yale mapata ambayo wanapata kutoka kwa ile kuuza sukari wanapata kwamba wa make faida kitu ambacho watafanya ili kuweza kuunda faida ni angalau kupunguza wafanyakazi na ndio maana BBC wanatuambia kwamba more than 70,000 Kenyans have been fired because of high taxation and high cost of production hiyo ni disadvantage ya kwanza ambayo imeweza kutoka kutoka kwa hii taxes ambazo ni kubwa ambazo William Samoei Arapuruto aliweza kuleta na unaelewa kwamba kipindi ambapo wakenya wameweza kupoteza ajira zao unakuta kwamba wanalala njaa unanielewa unakuta kwamba wanalala njaa ikifika januari unakuta kwamba mkenya wa kawaida ku raise hata ku raise hata school fees itakuwa ni matatizo kwake so watoto wengi ifikapo januari wataenda kusalia nyumbani wasije wakaenda shule na nielewe mtazamaji wangu hiyo ni disadvantage ya kwanza ambayo nimeweza kukueleza kwamba more than 70,000 Kenyans have been fired wameweza kuachishwa kazi disadvantage ya pili ambayo hii uh, BBC kitu hichi cha BBC ambacho makao makuu yake ni upande wa Marekani umeweza kutueleza ni kwamba kutokana na hizi taxes ambazo William Samoei Arapuruta ameweza kuzileta mpya zinafukuza investors unakuta kwamba wale wawekezaji ambao wanapata ama wanataka kuweza uh, kufanya biashara hapa katika Ruba za Kenya ama katika taifa la Kenya wanahama wanaenda ruba zingine kuweza kutafuta makao yani ma, mahala pazuri pa kuweza kufanyia biashara zao unanielewa so just imagine investor ameweza kutoka Marekani hakuja hapa nchini akuje kufungua biashara anaambiwa aweze kulipa taxes almost 1 million per month sasa yule investor atasema kwamba nilikuja hata mimi kujitafutia ili niweze kufanya maendeleo katika ruba, katika taifa langu ambalo natoka niweze kukuamua familia yangu kutoka kwa lindi la umaskini sijakuja hapa nchini Kenya kuweza kutajirisha William Samoei Ruto pamoja na taifa la Kenya so unakuta kwamba yule mwekezaji yule investor anafunga biashara zake anaenda kutafuta mahali ambapo environment iko favorable kuweza kufanya kazi na kipindi ambapo amefunga zile biashara zake unakuta kwamba 
wa Kenya kuna wa Kenya ambao walikuwa nafanya kule ndani wanafutwa kazi umeona sasa hizo ndizo disadvantages ambazo BBC wameweza kuangazia wa Kenya wameweza kukataa kabisa hizi taxes up to an extent i think juzi mwezi wa saba, nane, tisa, tuliweza kuona maandamana hapa nchini ambayo yalikuwa naongozwa na kinara wa muungano wa Azimio moja wa ni Kenya bwana Raila Mulu Dinga ambaye alikuwa na waongozo wananchi kuweza kuandamana kulalamikia taxes kubwa taxes ambazo William Samoei Ruto tangi alipoweza kuingia mamlakani aliweza kuintroduce tax ya kwanza mtazamaji wangu aliweza kufanya nini aliweza kuongeza pay as you earn kutoka asilimia 30 up to asilimia 35 kipindi ambapo unakatwa kila mwezi so katika mshahara wako wa kila mwezi unakatwa asilimia 30 na mshahara wako asilimia 35 ya mshahara wako hiyo ndio pay inaenda kwa serikali pili aliweza kuleta kitu ambacho kinaitwa housing levy ambayo unalipa 1.5% eti kwamba pesa zile zinaenda kuunda nyumba za pay na fuu ambazo wa Kenya watakuja kuzipata baada ya kumalizika ambazo wa Kenya wengi wanasema kwamba nyumba hizi zitakuja kupeanwa kiupendeleo zikikamilika kuna wale watu ambao unakuta kwamba wanajuana na, na William Samoei Ruto ama wanajuana na viongozi ambao wanahudumu kwenye serikali ya William Samoei Ruto wao ndio watapewa advantage ya kwanza kabisa kuweza kupokezwa nyumba zile vile vile tumeweza kuona William Samoei Ruto kulingana na ile chapisho la BBC wanatueleza kwamba William Samoei Ruto ameweza kuleta 2.75% hospital insurance fund levy ambayo ni mpya kabisa ile ambayo inaitwa social insurance social health insurance fund ambayo unalipa lazima utalipa licha kwamba mahakama iliweza kutupilia mbali wakasema kwamba hiyo social health insurance fund is unconstitutional William Samoi Arapuruta aliweza kuwalazimisha wa Kenya lazima walipe so hii BBC in expose William Samoi Arapuruta kuelekea rubaza za kimataifa jinsi ambavyo anawatesa wa Kenya hapa nchini anataka rubaza za kimataifa waweze kuona huyu mjamaa mwenye anakujanga hapa hivi na mdomo mzuri speech ambayo ni nzuri si mtu ambaye ni mzuri ni mtu ambaye anawatesa wananchi wake katika rubaz, a, katika taifa lake la a Kenya vile vile tuliweza kuona William Samoei Ruto aliintroduce 3% turn over ama kipenda gross sales tax on small businesses and doubling of taxes on fuel to 16% among others unaona so BBC wanatuambia kwamba William Samoei Ruto aliweza kuintroduce what we call 3% gross sale. So kwa wale wana biashara wote ambao wana wana aya maybe bidhaa kutoka rubaza za kimataifa wale wana biashara ambao wanauza bidhaa zao kama mtumba hapa nchini wanalipa 3% kwa zile nguo zao ambazo wameweza kununua. Licha kwamba kule sokoni lazima uweze kukata kale karisit ka kuweza kufanya biashara lazima ulipe 3%. Na ndio maana Unaona siku hizi mtumba ambayo ulikuwa unanunua mia imeweza kuongezeka bei. Unanielewa mtazamaji wangu? Ndio maana unaona kwamba mtumba ambao ulikuwa no, unanunua mia imeweza kuongezeka bei. Vile vile BBC wanatuambia kwamba William Samoei Ruto tangia alipoweza kuingia mamlakani ameongeza what we call a VAT kutoka asilimia nane mpaka asilimia sita ya mafuta kitu ambacho kimeweza kufanya cost of living kuweza kupanda hapa nchini. Wa Kenya wanalala njaa. Eh? Ndio maana wameweza kusema kwamba some of the taxes amid a rising cost of living led to deadly street protest earlier in this year. A steep increase in the cost of obtaining identity cards, passports, but a uh, certificate marriage certificate and a dead certificate was also announced but has since been suspended by the courts our bbc wanajua kweli licha kwamba mahakama iliweza kususpend hizi pesa ambazo william samuel aliweza kuongeza new taxes kwa upande wa kuweza kukata id 
kwa kuweza kupata eh, birth certificate, death certificate pamoja na masuala mengine. Wanajua kweli licha kwamba mahakama iliweza kususpend William Samuel Ruto lazima ataweza kuzileta hapa nchini muweza kutoa hizo pesa. Wanajua hivyo kweli? Wanajua kweli William Samuel Ruto anatumia dictatorship kuweza kuongoza wa Kenya. Hmm? Hapa hivi walikuwa wanafaa kuandikia rubaha za kimataifa waweze kusoma kwa sababu hii ni habari ambayo imeweza kusomwa na almost 140 million people katika hii page ya BBC wangekuwa wangefaa wa, 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 kuandika hapa hivyo licha kwamba mahakama iliweza kusema kwamba uh, uh, ile tax ambayo inatolewa zile pesa ambazo unatolewa kipindi ambapo unakata ID ambazo ziliweza kuongezwa dead certificate bad certificate licha kwamba mahakama waliweza uh, kususpend William Samuel Ruto anatoa Wangefaa vile vile kusema kwamba William Samuel Ruto hataki ku respect what we call rule of law hataki ku respect what we call katiba ya Kenya Anyway wazo lako mtazamaji ni lipi baada ya BBC kuweza kumexpose William Samuel Arap Ruto kulingana na jinsi ambavyo nimeweza kukueleza hapa kuelekea rubaha za kimataifa kulingana na jinsi ambavyo anawatesa wa Kenya Sema nasi na rejea na mingi tena zaidi ili tuweze kupata wazo lako la maoni jina langu nafahamika kama Mr Eagle 8 Merry Christmas and a happy happy prosperous new year 2024 Ukiwa na Christmas mtazamaji wangu nataka uweze kutusukumia usije uka sita nambari ndio hii hapa Christmas yako ya 50 Christmas yako ya mia, Christmas yako ya mia mbili, itaweze katusaidia vile vile. Bye bye, tupatane kwa kanda ijayo.